Franklin, what's going on? You gotta get out of town. Man, I ain't exactly got nowhere to go. Well, then take a trip. A long trip. What the fuck is going on? Things, all right? Damn. You remember, I told you I know people. Feds who looked after me when I retired. You did? Yeah, I did. I mean, I think I did. I don't know. Shit, Jesus Christ, Franklin. I got so many stories, I can't even keep them straight. I'm full of shit. Yeah, but your full of shit got me a lot of paper. One score with you, I made more money than I ever did hustling. Yeah, I mean, I'm a great thief, but you know, it's the other shit that I ain't got figured out. So what's the deal, man? What's the deal with the Bureau, man? This clown. I mean, he's an okay guy. Fucking cocksucker. We did a deal a long time ago. Didn't go quite the way it was supposed to go. Wrong guy got killed. So I had to go into kind of a, an informal witness protection program. He helped me. I didn't reveal secrets of his. And everything was cool. The problem started when recently I became unretired. I mean, he shows up, starts calling in favors, telling me to do shit. I mean, look, Franklin, I'm working for the fucking feds. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck, man. Yeah, and that ain't even the worst part. <sighs> Did I ever tell you about Trevor? Hmm? Uh, man, I, I, I think so. Shit. Well, if you only think so, then I wasn't being completely honest. He's, I don't, hell walking on Earth. That's what he is. Well, let's bury this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Shit. I mean, Trevor and I got history. Complicated fucking history. Look, I've done a whole lot of respect. And why don't you start with me, genius? You got it, pal. Is that cagey motherfucker, huh? No, it's another cagey motherfucker, all right? Not you. Hey, T, enough with the faux political bullshit. Come on, you better take off. Really. Shit, I'm good. I ain't bailed. Whoa. What, am I detecting some, uh, some sort of, uh, son I never had bullshit here, Mikey, huh? Hey, listen. If you want to replace some father figure, you can do a lot better than this fat snake, all right? This fucker would eat his own kids. Like I said, Franklin, deranged. Yeah, and best friend. <laughs> exactly. That's Trevor, my best friend. That's Franklin, the son I always wanted. All right, guys, listen, this is the shot. I'm gonna do all the heavy lifting on this job, okay? Trevor, all I need you to do is fly me to the target. Franklin, you're gonna cover me from across the street. Trevor is a what? Uh, Trevor is a good guy. He's like family and a guy can't get from that, 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 That's it, right? Yes, Trevor. <laughs> but, but the thing is, um, I ain't been with that many women. I don't find it easy. And, um, and Deborah, I mean, we're getting married, so. Oh, that's beautiful. But I'm scared that she's going to leave me. I mean, this is her place. And the fornicating? There's Mr. Raspberry Jam. Whoa. Whoa. Now, Mr. Raspberry Jam. He died a noble death, bringing great joy to a lonely man. I ain't got a very big penis. Some girls laugh when they, when they look at it. Well, show me. Show me, boy! I, 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 I don't want to. <sighs> Mine ain't nothing special, but this boy gets the job done, all right? Now, Wade here says that you work at the docks. Uh, yes. Look at me! Can you just put your Johnson away, sir? Oh, Jesus. Yes, I work at the docks. And? 
Anything uh, interesting there for a man like me? Well, I mean, I, I, I don't rightly, rightly know. What kind of person are you? Oh, I'm that kind of person, Floyd. I am that kind of person. Now, let's get you, Wade, and that little tormentor down there to put these on. We are going for a ride. Gentlemen, the gateway to America awaits. Run, we got an inside man at the port of LS. I'm gonna send you some information. I need you on point to help plan things. I got it, T. I really miss it. Well, I guess we're going to Park City then. Off in Port City, every road round here gets shut down. the suit. I gotta check in. Remember, Floyd, this can go real wrong real quick. Well, he's particularly We got a waste okay. spillage and I got a slot on the cleanup crew. There is nothing that Wade here ain't gonna do for a warm meal. Hope you got a strong stomach, son. <laughs> Get in there. You gonna take me to see this freighter? <sighs> yeah, it's over here. You ever get helicopters coming in and out of here? You know, those big sky crane things that could pick up a whole container? Now, this is restricted airspace. Now, they won't let anything out of here without clearance. They'll shoot it down if they have to. So how's a man in a hurry supposed to get in and out of this place? Well, we got a port that's stretched to 50 feet. Now, what's the Coast Guard response like? Well, they got cutters, 45-foot response vessels, air support. You're not gonna move much faster than them, especially if you're carrying something. Maybe I'll have to saddle you up and ride you across the Miriam Turner overpass. I just said they had the water surface real covered. Okay. That is the freighter I told you about. What do you think they got on it? We just stevedore door them. We ain't meant to know what's in the containers. But? But these are marked military. Government. Anything weird about that? The government stuff is hot freight. Pulls up, goes right through. This stuff's just been sitting here. You are beginning to arouse my curiosity. Over there, two o'clock. Looks like Forrest got on the wrong side of some Merryweather guys. You! You! We need two guys on the handler. Couple of containers and baby got to be brought up to F. That ain't a question. Get on it now. Up here, okay? I guess they're gonna kick me out if I don't play along. How about I run that prick over in this thing? About this view, huh? I'm gonna take some photos for the kids.
Trevor, come on. I can take you over to the warehouse. We can use the big rig. It's on the other side of Port City. So they've been guarding one of them drones. Docks. Uh, we can take a look at it, but no one's allowed around there. Normal rules don't apply to us, Floyd. We're going in. I don't know. The rules applied to me my whole life. I, I like rules. And look at you. You're a failure. You're in a loveless relationship. Uh, what do you mean? Loveless? I love Deborah. If she loved you, she'd be here, wouldn't she? But she's not. Uh, you know I'm insecure. You've got a dead-end job. What? Dead-end? Uh, no. Floyd! It's dead-end. Being a unionized longshoreman's one of the best-paying jobs in the country. You tell people around La Puerta that's what you do, they're liable to rob you. They're so jealous. No one's jealous of you, Floyd. They pity you. You're abused by that woman. You're abused by these slave drivers. I mean, I've never worked so hard in my life. It ain't so bad. Uh, I've been doing this every day for 10 years, only usually with less of the criminality. You're wasting your life, Floyd. It's lucky we turned up when we did. I'm saving you from yourself. We ain't heard from Wade. What are you, his mother? He's fine. Restricted access. No entiendo. Ah, no understando. Huh? Manifesto. Manifesto say deliver here. Mm. Hey, stop. Where the fuck do you think you're going? Back out. 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 Back of all things holy. I, I, I tried to stop it, but it just kept coming and coming. Oh, it's, they're there, Wade. Look, 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 it's not, you're just not cut out for honest work, all right? You, you, you get what you needed? Yeah, 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 more or less. Yeah, I just got to uh, figure out a place to plan this now. All right, this will do. That woman ain't even fine. Ain't no one understands why Floyd lets her use him so. That's well, uh, low self-esteem, Wade. We gotta build him back up. Now! And, there, perfect. All right, so. Based on my observations, I'd say these Merryweather security cocksnots are sitting on something real valuable. I think they got two of these things, but we only need one. First one is on that freighter. Deck. They got guards all over that ship, so it's likely they're keeping it on ice. The air, land, and sea routes into the port will be locked down as soon as we make a noise at these X's here. Which means we have to blow up the ship and grab the thing underwater. 
Need a guy to plant the bombs, a guy to look out for him with a rifle, and a guy to grab the thing, whatever it is, underwater. That means stealing a submarine, of course, but you can find us one of them, can't you? Huh? Now, the other one is off the coast being tested. They're running the operation from the dock where I last saw your cousin. We'll need a submarine for that, too, and probably a chopper, a big one. We go out there, look around underwater, locate it, bring it back here, and find out what it is. Here? To the cargo? Aye, so, what do you think? Container ship or whatever's offshore? It's gotta be the container, right? You and Floyd can help, and we'll bring along Michael and his unpaid intern. Okay, all right. What is that smell? Oh, we are going straight to the local union rep. Yep. Wade here was injured in the performance of his duties. Human waste has seeped into his very pores, and I am sorry to say this, but I don't think he's ever gonna smell normal again. <laughs> you can't go to the union. You are union, all right, and you vouched for us, all right? You look at him, man. Smell him, no. smell him. Trevor, Trevor, uh, you're, you're planning a robbery on my place of work. You violated Mr. Raspberry Jam, and God alone knows what else. You damaged Deborah. Look, my lady and my union, that's all I got. So why don't we just, uh, why don't we just let this all slide, huh? If you're comfortable with what's happened to your cousin, then so be it, all right? But I would give him a bath and rinse him off. No! No back! Excuse me, sir. Can I talk to you for a second? The fuck are you talking about? I am talking about a hotline straight to heaven that this state makes illegal. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I don't give a fuck about refund. Well, they rigged the vote. I saw the ballots. It's a lie. It's democracy at work, amigo. Democracy can suck my fatty. Democracy only works when it lets intelligent people do what they want. This? This is tyranny by morons. <laughs> yeah, well, I got things to take care of in a little place called reality. You want a drink? Nah, I'm not a drug guy. This isn't bushweed. This is mana. And I grew up myself. No paranoia, no weirdness. A passport to nirvana. Fuck, give me that. Yeah, here, you'll hardly feel it. Yeah, I smoke all day and I'm fine. It's a pure, mellow high. But I do get concerned about the monsters. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they're nothing serious, but uh, oh. I never let them get to you. Oh, the fuck! <laughs>
freaks out there! Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it feels so good. And after that, you see, <laughs> the liquor companies push for continued prohibition, which is complete insanity. <laughs> so I take it I can count on your support. The fuck just happened? What are you talking about? We discuss globalization, the state. Stay the fuck away from me. What? But it's a good cause. Legal. Can I get a signature, sir? For what? <laughs> the most important fight of all. Poverty. Hmm? No, another most important fight. The AIDS. No, no, no another one. Animal welfare. Legalization. Here, sign. Shit, where's my pen? Where's my pen? Legalization of what? Of things the Founding Fathers took as a right to consume medicinal plants. Legalized smoke? Yeah. You fucking kidding me? I make a shitload of money selling that, all right? The last thing I can handle is legalization. Now fuck off! Take a drag. No, I don't, I don't, I don't smoke it anymore. It interferes with the speed. No, it, it's really good weed. All right, give it here. Yeah. It's a real mellow contemplative high that comes from here. <laughs> Those clowns over there. Interesting talking to you. What the fuck was that, huh? It was horrible. Well, think about what I said. It can't be. This is so machine. Congress was lied 
do by yellow journalism. So I take it I can count on your attendance, friend. Huh? At the smoke-in. We're what? Yeah. We're going to bring down the government by smoking weed together in a public place. It's very effective. I'm prepared to be a martyr, friend. Are you? Shit, if being a martyr means to smoke good weed, for sure. Would you like a little warm-up? You know, before you go and collect the supplies? Before I what? You know, get the supplies. Can't have a smoke in without smoke. You know, cerebral stuff that's gonna get the people up off their feet protesting. Man, I don't know. It sounds kind of bullshit to me. We're gonna crush them with our resolve. Here. <clears throat> have a little taste of that. <clears throat> Mellow, sophisticated high. Man, it seems a little dry. Can't you see the aliens? Man, what else are you taking? Man, this shit is garbage. Anyway, just get the stuff. It's a revolution, and then call me. Crazy motherfucker. A veritable treasure trove. That's a perfectly good sock. Just ignore us. Yes, don't mind us. Pretend we're not here. Okay. You're not Jock Cranley, are you? Actor and artist? I love your work. Oh, stunt double? Oh, our favorite show. Mrs. Thornhill, snap! Watch the birdie. Oh, we pretend to throttle me. <laughs> yes, like you did on that, on that poster you did. Yeah, okay, all that would be my pleasure. <laughs> oh. uh, like that, huh? Yeah? Oh. Like that. Maybe something oh. like this? Oh. Or like oh. that? Huh? You like that? Oh, that's enough, huh? have you? You like that? Oh! 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 Hey. oh. oh. Thank hmm. you. Wow, that's quite a woman oh. there, huh? Oh. We are not worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. worthy. We're, We're not, not I'm, worthy. Uh, I'm not Jock, uh... What's his name? Cranley. Big star in the 80s. We well, love celebs. That's why we came to Tinseltown. Yes. Yeah. Before we met you, we were trying to break in to Bruce Spade's house and steal his rubbish. The things these stars throw away. They're not like you or me. <laughs> Mrs. Thornhill has the most unbelievable collection of celebrity underwear and bathroom products. Things they've actually used themselves. You guys have a great vacation, all right? I gotta go. We could do with some help. All this climbing over walls and rooting through bins. It's such a business. Nigel's got an arthritic knee. Yeah. What do you, uh, what do you need? Just a few vine wood souvenirs for my mm -hmm. museum. No, no, look, look, look at this map. I mean, a lot of these places have famous people living in them and some that are just hanging about. Bring us some things. I'd be very thankful indeed. Americans are the most wonderful people in the world, aren't they? The best! <laughs> Such fun! <laughs> <laughs>
got that submarine we talked about. You gotta help me store it for a few days. Floyd, don't go quiet on me or I'll come around and, and I'll, well, we both know what I'm talking about. Okay, um, all right. The, the bring it around the Pier 400 at the Western Docks. On my way. Look, uh, I'll have a truck to bring you around the warehouse. What's this? The Union man doing an honest day's work? There's nothing honest about this, sir. But this is a dishonest day's work, if ever I've seen one. Hey, we're not hurting anyone. No, but no one except whoever owns that submarine and the, and the mercenary foes on the freighter. Do some research on Meriwether Security Consulting, friend. They'd be on trial for human rights offenses if the U.S. government didn't protect all its contractors from any kind of suit, military or civilian. They're immune from prosecution, and they behave like they are. Murdering, stealing, high on power guns and anabolic steroids. <sighs> Lucky bastards. Look, I don't know about that stuff. Oh, you're right. You don't. Meriwether are employed by the richest, greediest scum on the planet to shit on the poorest and the neediest. So we are going to enjoy shitting on them. No oh, great. I'll look forward to that. Okay, well that's more like it. I'm here. Oh, it's around the corner, past the shipyards. Is that sub covered properly? It'll be fine if we just get there. Are you being short with me? No, 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 sir. I'm certainly not being short. I'm just not used to this kind of pressure. If you turn a crew onto a score, you gotta be ready for the heat that comes with it. I didn't turn anyone on to anything. 
You threatened and cajoled and tricked me. You don't want to cut? Just walk away. I can't walk away. You're robbing my workplace and running the show from my home. You can pull up. You're sure it'll be okay there? Um, sure. All right. If you're wrong, I'll eat your sweet meats. Now get out of here. Stop doing this shit! Oh, oh, it's you. Hey, how's it going, homie? Hey. Yeah. Hey, uh, you seem incredible lately. Yeah, Trevor Phillips, but I doubt if you want a picture of him. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wasn't he uh, in, in, in the, the men's room? Nah, nah. Oh, shit. I gotta tell you. This is unbelievable. Ah, crap. That hurt. Man, you're not gonna believe this. They want to do a reality series about me. Yeah, it's true, man. I'm gonna be big. I'm gonna be huge, right? It's all about the incredibly glamorous life I lead. Huh? Oh, good. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, boy. Yeah, except, you know, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna need somebody else to take some shots from me. Nah, I'm cool on that, dog. Oh, come on, dude. Come on, homie. All right, look, this, if, if you get a chance. Right? I mean, there's no rush. Okay? Oh, you know what I'll do is I'll, I'll send you a list of names and some links so you can see who they are. Right? Yeah, well, whatever, man. All right. Hey, you know, and I promise you, fame won't change me one bit. Yeah, I was afraid you would say that. Ah! Oh! Ah! No, I'm good! So, what's up, man? Sit down and face forward. Now, I don't have a lot of time. I know you need money. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh shit, y'all two did that? Look forward. We're two strangers having a friendly chat. And don't pretend that you liked Jane Norris. Oh man, I don't know, homie. I mean, yeah, the dude I source worked to child slaves. Then stole and sold everybody's private information. And even ripped his own friend's ideas off and walked around like the Messiah while doing it, but... Man, I don't think the nigga deserved to have his fucking head blowed off on TV. Oh, well, aren't you just a moral majority? You know, that's why the world is the way it is today, when a paid thug gets all namby-pamby when someone asks him to act like a paid thug and for a good cause. Man, check this out, homie. I like blowing motherfucking fools' heads off just as much as the next psychotic asshole. But I just don't look at the shit as doing a good deed. Well, now you can, because it's not fools' heads, it's assholes' heads. And not just heads, you know, trashing cars or planting lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> shit, okay, cool. Right, so, you heard of Mollus? Hell yeah. Okay, so there's a new Mollus, sort of a super Mollus, and it's called Priapolds. It's giving the living rigor mortis. Only Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, paid off the FDA. And he doesn't care that his hardness pills are giving desperate middle-aged men the world over heart attacks. Damn, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Now, Mr. Greedy Lowry is staying at the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond. Of course, he'll be well protected, but if he goes away, then America goes back to using Mollus, and Beta Pharmaceuticals gets a big bump in the price of their stock. Damn, man, all right, fuck it, I got you. I thought that you would. Now... Consider using a sniper rifle or sticky bombs. You know, whatever. Do it your way, however you want. I'm gonna make the investment. We don't speak about this or anything. Now walk away, and I'll stay here till you're gone.
Mr. Lowry. Really? Huh? Because I was told that if we helped out with that thing, which we did, then our past indiscretions would be... Who told you that? Did I tell you that? I'm in charge here, Fruity. Me! You understand? Uh, not quite. Well, can you explain that again? What I was saying... <laughs> Oh, you're good. The three cunts. Listen, we need help with something else. Some of the government, some of it is pretty corrupt. Not, uh, not your bit, right? Yes, but we're corrupt in a good way. But the agency, they want to encourage panic so they can guarantee their budgets. That's how they get paid. It's a major problem. And now they've secured some funds that we need to use in our fight against crime as a way of bribing corrupt officials. Really? And where are they getting that from? Drugs. Those bastards love to sell drugs. Who doesn't? We think they're gonna use this money to finance a war on our streets. And we need you boys to requisition that money for us. The bombs are leaving the terminal in an armored car. Yeah, fuck you, Dave. We don't have time to prepare the right way. <laughs> it's not my concern. I cannot allocate any more resources to this. You'll be fine. Fuck you, Dave. Nice work, Slick. We're gonna be doing pat-downs at the airport before those fucking clowns are done with us. You know, fuck you. Hey, hey, look, man. It is what it is. Now, how the fuck we gonna get this done? I don't know. I got it. Classic blitz play. It's an industrial area, right? So I'm thinking vehicles. Trash truck to block. Tow truck to sack them. We get some disguises, and we're gold. We just gotta hope like hell these are the kind of agency men that don't carry a panic button with them. If they are, we deal with it. If and when. If and motherfucking when. I will keep my eyes peeled, General. Thank you, Michael. Hey, no problem. No, really. Miss. Shit.
in trouble, all right? Very interesting choice, Fred. Hey, Floyd! Hey! You guys, I'm expecting company, all right? Want this place clean. Wade, you tidy. Floyd, massage. Uh, no, no, I really don't. Do you want me to get my dick out again? No, no, huh? no, no. Does anyone want that? No, no, you're right, you're right. You're... Hey, bro, what's up? Oh, hey, bro, you're late. Nine years fucking late. You know, you're so late, in fact, that you have no right to call me, bro. Is that clear? Ah, uh, shut the fuck up. You're like a broken fucking record. Oh, yeah? Well, you're like a shit. Exactly like a shit. Where's the assistant? On his way. Uh, can I idolize this? You <laughs> creeps. Yo! Yo, Frankie, we were just talking about you. Ah, oh, nattering. You know how it is. Yeah, whatever, man. So what are we doing here? We're working, amigo. Taking a score. Yeah, done most of the planning, and uh, I think we're gonna literally make out like bandits on this. Did you talk to Lester? Yeah, yeah, I called him. It's, apparently he's in the hospital having his vagina cleaned or some shit. He's got a wasting disease. 20% saved. No, that's not how we work. Well, you'll forgive me, but that's how we're gonna work this time, all right? We're doing it my way, because as I recall the last time when we did it your way, we all got shot at, you got buried, resurrected, turned into a twat, and Brad ended up in a fucking prison! Yeah, and Lester told us not to do that job, but we did it anyway. And Lester seems pretty good, man. Would you shut the fuck up, all right? And you, Michael, owe me, all right? So this time, we do things my way. <laughs> yeah, and what about after this? After this, we think about things. So what's the plan? Easy. We are sinking a freighter into Los Santos Harbor, all right? Now, Daddy's little helper, you're gonna be on the bridge, all right? You're the lookout. And you, you're boarding the freighter and planting charges. Me, I'm running the deep water salvage operation with a little help from my friends. You, fat man, of course, well, you're not one of those friends. Which part is easy, though? Oh, for fuck's sake, where'd you get the pussy, Mikey? Man, fuck you. Ah, better. I like that. Fuck you. Good. Good. All right, now let's go make some money, ladies, huh? Brilliant. Don't be a dick. Oh, your wish is my commando, master. Let's go, Junior. Hey, wait. Get Michael a wetsuit, or I take him to the boat. Oh. Hurry it up. We need some transport, don't we? Hold on. I'm dropping you on the Port City side of the Miriam Turner overpass, all right? Almost nest and call Mike. Okay, man, sure. Shit. Hey, dog, I'm in position. Let me know when you're ready. I'm in position. Damn, that's a long way up. So make sure I don't run into any trouble when I get there. Fucking Trevor. All right, I got you, homie. Hey, yo, there's two guards. These are bad dudes, right? I read up about these fools online. Yeah, they're a nasty bunch. It's clear, man. Climb aboard. Things I do for old friends. I got four bombs to plant, kid. Look out for me while I do it. Take one of this ship in numbers, man. First bomb is planted and armed. I'm moving up to the next position. I can do it quick or I can do it right, okay?
drop a low dick. I can do it quick or I can do it right. Dick. here. Get back to where I can see you as soon as you can. I'm not gonna screw around in here, all right? Just tell me when you planted it. Oh, shit. Are you okay, man? You gotta go. The alarm's going, man. You okay?
the ship. They're going up. Enemy menace in your contact list. Say whatever you want about Trevor, but shit, he got it done. Yep, let's hope so. Hey, is that Alaska? What? Hey, man, what the fuck you doing here? You should be in bed. Yes, I should be. I would be if certain known associates weren't busy making themselves enemies of the state. You know, the FIB, Merriweather, IA, hey, you could fuck with them all day long. But when you try and steal an experimental super weapon and sell it to the Chinese, you and everyone you ever knew is going to be in the ass, you fucking chumps! Oh, 
Hold on, man. A super weapon? The Chinese... Damn.